Welcome back to How to Program. Just a warning, this show is best viewed in order, and we recommend you start with the first episode. If you go to our channel, you can find the first episode of this series on um, basic programming. This is episode five, binary, and we're gonna talk about addition and binary. First of all, uh, this is the results from the last episode's exercise, uh, which was to convert these numbers into binary. And if you did this, uh, you can now check your results with the following. You can pause the video and just look it over. So let's go back to decimal, which is the system that humans use to count. And let's see how we add. And this is how I was taught to add in school. Uh, you may have been taught a little differently. I don't know, but uh, hopefully not. But this is, in my opinion, one of the simplest ways of adding two large numbers manually. So let's add 1403 and 8912. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add three and two together. That's gonna to make five, so we're gonna put that at the bottom here. Now we're gonna add zero and one, and that's a one. So you see we work our way from the right to the left, digits by digits. Okay, so now we're gonna add four and nine, that's 13. So the way we're gonna write this is we're gonna write 13, but we're gonna write the three at the bottom, and we're gonna write the one as a top. So we're, we're gonna write the, the rightmost digit of 13 right, four and nine is 13, uh, down at the bottom, and then whatever's left over uh, at the top here. As, and we call the top part the carry. That's just because you're carrying this number over to the, next, to the next column while you're doing the addition. Okay, so now we add the carry in both digits, and that makes for 10, so that again has a carry. So we put a zero at the bottom and we put a one there and that creates a new column that we didn't have because our numbers each had four digits, but now we have a fifth digit for this carry, which we're just gonna put at the bottom here by itself because there's nothing below. So that's a simple addition in decimal and you should be pretty familiar with that. And that's the final number. So the way you add in decimal is you start from the rightmost column and you add each digit together. If the total is greater than nine, then you carry over the excess digit to the next column on the left. And then you add the carry with every column if there is a carry until you run out of digits and carries all the way to the left and then you have your final number, right? So now let's go to binary. It turns out that binary addition is exactly the same. It follows exactly the same rules, except this time we're counting in binary. So let's start with a one and a one. And in binary, one plus one is one zero, which is two in decimal, but in binary it's one zero. So that means there's a carry immediately here with a zero at the bottom, as you can see. So we're gonna carry the one over because one and one is two, but two in binary is represented as one zero, right? So the zero at the bottom, the one for the carry at the top. So we're gonna go on to the next column here and we have a carry with zero, so that's just a one. The total is just one here. Next, we're gonna have a one and a zero and we're gonna put that at the bottom here. And another zero and one and that's a one. So our sum here is uh, one, one, zero in binary. And we can look at our little table to figure out what number in decimal this is and this turns out to be 14. So this is pretty simple. Add each digit together, starting from the rightmost column. If the total is greater than one, carry over the excess digits to the next column. And then you add the carry with every column until you're out of digits and carries. So we have an exercise for you to add these numbers. Just to note that there's somewhere you might run into a situation where you have a one and a one in both numbers in that column and a carry. Right, well the result is going to be one, one in binary, that's three, right? Because essentially you have three ones to add up. So the result is one, one in binary. So you have to put a one at the bottom and a carry one to the left. And that's how you do that. So just pay attention to that when you're doing the following exercise. And we'll have the results in the next episode. Good luck. Our next lesson is going to be about binary still. And this time we're gonna talk about representing negative numbers and numbers less than zero and we'll go over how binary representations of that work. If you enjoyed watching this, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel below and like this video. You can also like us on Facebook and get alerted as soon as a new episode comes out.